In this lesson, we're going to understand the concept of the union of two or more sets. The union of two or more sets is comprised of all elements in all of the original sets that you're taking the union of. So for instance, if we have set A, which contains all the elements you see here, lowercase a, star, five, pink flower, orange flower, and heart, and you have the set B, which contains banana cream pie, two, lowercase c, and sea turtle, if we wanted to find the union of these two sets, it would just be all of these elements. So this is the union of sets A and B, all of the elements contained in both sets. If we have three sets, you're going to just combine all the elements in all three sets, and that's your union. If you have four sets, the same thing, or more. It can be any number of sets, and the union of your sets is going to be the set comprised of all the elements in all your sets. So, if we see the symbol U, you know that this means union. So you might see something like this. You might see A union B. And whenever you see this, you know that you're finding the union of both sets A and B, which we found to be all of these elements below. So we could say A union B equals, and then we can list all our elements like we have here. Now, be aware that the number of elements in your union set is always going to be greater than or equal to the number of elements in the largest original set. And this is just because you're taking all the elements from one set and all the elements of another set and you're combining them. So your union set must be at least greater than or equal to the number of elements in your largest set. There's no way it can be smaller than that. So, now we've learned what the union of sets is. 